tempted to just explore this place, maybe try and find a shortcut that doesn't involve getting frenzied, frenzy fucked every time, like it's some kind of cool thing. But let's try and take this place a little slower, shall we? As he drops nothing and gives terrible souls. But, I now get life back for doing that. I think that counts as a visceral attack, the, the backstab. I can't believe the Crystal Lizards have now got a nasty version. I wonder how big that creature's gonna get. I need to remember also that there are hunters here. No. The thing that's gonna kill you in a second. I've just thought about this ring, this ring, this um, this room. It's going to completely shift the dynamic of PvP because if you're parrying a lot and you're good at parrying, uh, you're going to have a great excuse to not die. I guess we're about to find out how how good this excuse is when this guy comes and does whatever he's going to do. Just a stone with his gun because he's a beast. He's gone with the he's a. Uh, Couldn't get my shot off. Though. Oh, because I don't have any bullets. That's okay. And something else just attacked me. Oh, the other hunter. Here comes the inevitable kill shot. So those hunters don't fight each other yet. The hunters in the graveyard, that's exactly what they were doing. I couldn't have, well, you know what happened, guys, because it happens every time I fight. At least he bowed. It's nice of them that they can gesture and not be dickheads when they gesture. But that is the price of progress, guys. You use your consumables, and on this game, not having bullets is boring as fuck. I suppose they anticipate people to buy a lot of them, which is what I would do, but I've already explained why that's awkward to do currently. We dropped something. A gemstone. Awesome. I don't mind killing these guys knowing that they're dropping things that could prove really useful. That just nearly got me killed, that little fucker. Not happy at all about that, but what can we do? So this guy doesn't seem to spam his gun too much, so maybe I can just kind of get on with it and, and explore, maybe. I mean that... Oh, here he comes with the gun. he be got the gun. Guaranteed. Gun attack. I'm waiting for it. Never get near the slammer. Fading Lake. Can he make that jump? I don't think he can. Nah, he's too stupid. What was it? Fade? Increases? No. No. There you go. Fire defense. I wonder what that thing is that the boss here is doing to me. Maybe if I could defend a little bit better against that, I could not make as many silly mistakes. Because this is a boss, guys, where eventually I'll get a run where I don't make silly mistakes and I don't get hit by that AoE. Because you saw just then, I go into half-life in one combo, which, if I can get him to repeat that cycle, that'll be awesome. The zone to just there as well. I can't much remember what is over this way, but 
I guess we'll find out. I have a stomach problem, though. Clear deep sea, and another one of those. Something is firing shit at me. Tell that, you dirty Wookie. I can't believe at this moment in time there doesn't seem to be a way to to walk fast in sludgy, dirty, nasty land. I cannot walk up that. Shit, I thought you could walk up that. Now you can walk up this instead. Cold blooded what? Flower something. Of course you've got a jump attack, why would you not? Yep, that's gonna get me killed. Maybe there's a better path down here. You know, like a super secret sexy path. But there's something, it seems like there's, yeah, that looks like a, a dead, a dead hunter if you try and go that way. Kinda wanna try though. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Except for I die. Oh, maybe not. It'd be great if he'd fall, right? But he often chooses not to. What do the Lixers, Lixers, Elixers do? Oh, it's that weird iron flesh thing. Maybe this is a safe path, or as safe as safe paths can can maybe be. But last time, if you remember, he could frenzy me from nine days away. But maybe, if, maybe that's only if he sees you. I want to go that way, and I'm going to use this vial because, you know, we're exploring. It might pay off in 20 years. However, there is one of those creatures and it is not sitting down, which means it is incredibly dangerous. So we're going to run past him, and hope he's not very good at navigating said geometry. Because this has to be something. What is this? This is that weird green altar in that other place. But how do we get here? And is it better than where we've been? What the fuck is that? That is way better! Way better! Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I've been... Oh, that's so depressing. I've been giving you a, a horrible run-back experience when I could have just been doing that. That is incredibly... That is way better. Way, way better. And, I, and I, the part of me kind of knew it would be, but I was okay with it. And I've just wasted... Every run-back on this boss, I wasted, what, two to three vials on that stupid frenzy attack? And chances are... You can completely skip that happening by going this path. So let's see, shall we? Now you run down here. There's an item over there which I should really check out. And then you run this way. And then we take on the boss again. So, hooray for exploration, I guess. He always does that and he never follows it up. You notice that? Oh! So, no healing here, there's no points. That's not what I wanted at all, but. It does serve me right for pressing transform during a dash. It gave me a, a dashing transform attack. Which is 
what he does. What just happened then? Disable his hands, that'd be really cool. I'm not too sure what those are, but every single enemy seems to have one. You know, sometimes when the game just has your number, I think this is what this is. There are times when I really enjoy this whip, and there are times when I really think it's a piece of shit. Oh, that frame rate, dude. And Nothing has a hitbox. This isn't even that hard part. I'm just making it look hard. And the hit detection on my weapon swing is just making it look hard too. Shit. Yeah. I'm making it look much harder than he's jumping. We haven't seen that for a while. Fuck. Oh, I do not want to be wherever the hell I was just then. Oh, that was an opening. Terrible play, Chris. Terrible. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Should be. Put his head down again. Massive opening. Didn't see that. Learned my lesson from that move. Haven't learned my lesson from that one because it's got varying range. <laughs> So I'm struggling to remember how many bosses we've killed today. We we killed the gank squad, of course. But I think that might be the only boss we've killed, which is really depressing. We might have killed more. I hope we've killed more. But I am a forgetful son of a bitch when it comes to short-term memory issues. Maybe the nightmare thing and the crying baby is a reference to, Ma not Mad Max, to Max Payne, sorry. Because if you remember in that game, uh, you had to follow the sound of a crying baby, which is one of the most horrific uh, sounds <laughs> in a game. But I'll probably ed edit out some of these deaths if I have a few, because when I'm not healing and I'm not shooting, you know, death is going to come quick with big, big... Shit. Jump. Oh, he did a grab. Why would he grab at that range? I don't understand that. Big swing. Another big swing. Probably a punishable moment right there. This is punishable. But I stood in it. Fuck. It's all about learning that distance. It's just learning that distance is it's really hard, dude. Yeah, R2 into repost. Best way to repost by far. Depending on your weapon and depending on the animations, you might be able to get a really good one too. A really good... I got my life back as well. Because of the repost room. The visceral room. It's not called that, but you know what I mean.
That was a massive opportunity and I, I fucked it up. Because I didn't know what he was doing. <clears throat> Not interested in that. Paddy, paddy, paddy. Well, I hit it at least. More, more of the weird jisms. Jisms. Fuck you. He's gonna do that way. Oh, he did it from a different angle. Oh no! Why did it linger so long? That was really gay in a non homosexual way. crazy uh, forearms out and do that. I can't wait to find out what Epic Nambro thinks that is because he's been with the devs and shit. He knows this magic, this sorcery. That was quite scary. Not as scary as that, but I'm not... Did he take damage there? No, I guess that was perfect in its own way. It's kind of funny that with a bit of luck, I would have probably killed this boss on the first run we had against him. Because if you remember, I got all the way to his final phase, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. But now, now it's, it's like the gods are against me, so it's going to be 30 million attempts. And that's an accurate... Estimate because I'm a mathematician. And I need water. And I just spilled water in my groin because I'm a savage. Kudos, brother. <clears throat> exactly what I wanted. How did you know? He's probably been watching this boss fight, he knew. I mean, if I could somehow get exploit his life. So that I could parry him twice. Probably kill this dude. But his pattern is so random. If he starts spamming the, the dirty spit, I can't get close to him. And if he hits me with those long limbs, which is what they're designed to do. That was a falling attack. Got it? No, but I probably shouldn't do. Fantastic camera work there again. He's gonna do the crazy flail and now he's not. Like we've got a really bad pattern right now, he's doing all sorts of stuff that I can't punish. That one I can. That the follow up he missed. And he tried to grab me. I bet that's a kill. If I had to guess, I would say it was a kill. Earlier. I don't know what that one is. But he's massive recovery and I didn't punish it, which makes me really, really sad. Same with this one. Party head down, whip. Nothing. Grab. Whip. Shit. Oh, it worked. Whip again. They don't have the range. And I really need this repost as well. Because my life is getting questionably low. So I need to stun him. Preferably after this. If I can. That's it. Bollocks! It wouldn't come out, dude! He started fucking comboing. That was depressing, but maybe we can do it again? I don't know. That was really depressing. He's doing it again. 
This is actually a nicer pattern. But it's a rare pattern too. Like, you get him doing that a lot, in a good range, there's no reason not to destroy this boss. But anything else? And it's tricky. Unless you super know the moves and the animations and the punish zones and you know your weapon really well. Because my weapon's just a fucking joke at this minute. It's making me sad. And the next hit is a kill hit. Be under no illusion. Like, I cannot fuck with this. With this life. Jump. Missed it twice. It's amazing. The thing I hated about Dark Souls 2 is kind of in this game. And it has always been in Souls games, but... I don't think that's doing any damage, actually. Hitting his, his arm, his pulled arm. It's got some great animations, this boss, though. Did I get it? I think that's the one where he counters, doesn't he? Can't remember. We'll see. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, clipping. 